let's say that the 707 shrank the world and that this airplane opened uh, travel to the masses. If truth be told, you know, the genesis of this airplane occurred in a competition for a large freighter airplane for the U.S. Air Force uh, in the mid-60s, 65, 66, uh, 67 time period. Boeing competed against Lockheed. Lockheed won the contract with the C-5A. And that became the C-5A, of which they built 50 initially and 50 later on. Boeing sat there with this technology of a really large airplane, uh, really big engines that had been developed by Pratt & Whitney and GE. At that time, Juan Tripp, who was president of Pan American, came to Boeing and said, you know, he thought that Pan Am would like a much bigger airplane. Taking the smarts we had from working on this C-5 competition, we, we evolved into uh, what you see behind me now, 747. Pan Am, of course, was the kickoff customer, as they were for the 707. Commercial airplane is flying 10, 12 hours a day, in some cases 14, 16 hours a day. The flying that these test airplanes do is far more challenging and exciting and demanding, you know, than a commercial airplane is, uh, is seeing. Of course, this airplane was used in the flight testing and certification of the 747, but was also used in a whole bunch of other programs. Things that it did is it would, is flight tested the 777 engine. Both the Rolls-Royce and the Pratt & Whitney 777 engines were installed on this airplane. This airplane was also configured as an airborne refueling tanker and uh, actually flew as a tanker for some period of time and refueled airplanes uh, out of the Air Force inventory. And this airplane was also used as a mock-up for the Air Force, two Air Force One uh, 747 type airplanes that are uh, in service today.